Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. A 1-bit LLM is a model where each parameter or weight is shortened or quantized to only a few distinct values. Those values could be minus 1, 0 or 1, requiring just about 1 bit per weight instead of the usual 16 or 32 bit in conventional LLMs. That is where things have become more interesting just now as Microsoft has released this first open source truly native 1-bit large language model at the 2 billion parameter scale. We have been covering these ternary or 1-bit LLMs for quite some time now even more than a year ago. I covered it um, first on the YouTube I believe and from there there were a lot of talk about that being a future but then it fizzled out and it seems that it's now resurrected again in fact microsoft is at it for a long time and they also released another project called as bitnet or bitnet.cpp which is a native tooling to run these sort of models in this video we are going to install this bitnet b15a2b4 trillion on our local system and then we will see how it works but let's talk a bit more about these one bit llms before we talk about this particular model let's try to understand in simple words what exactly is meant by a weight a weight is a numerical value that determines the strength of connections between neurons and directly control model predictions standard llms use high precision weights which could be float 32 or float 16 resulting in large memory and computation demands bitnet is a leading implementation of a one bit llm using ternary quantization to limit each weight to three possibilities that significantly compresses the model this compression enables efficient inference on edge devices with limited resources often without significant loss in accuracy Tools like bitnet.cpp further optimize this thing. Now talking about this particular model, unlike traditional LLMs, this bitnet b158 was trained from scratch using a ternary quantization scheme. So every weight is stored in just 1.5 bits with possible values minus 1, 0 or plus 1. I will be talking more about this model but for now let's get it installed. I also want to thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and this GPU NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's create a virtual environment. If you also want to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, Let's go back. Let's create all the prerequisites. If you see, I am using a special transformers uh, repository, not the standard one because it is not yet merged there. So let's wait for it to get installed. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and I will also drop the link to the website in video's description. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. And as you would imagine, these are very small models. So for example, you can see that this one is just 1.18 gig. And the model is loaded. Let's first do an inference inference is similar to what we do in conventional llms so i am just giving it this prompt that hey smile you're on camera i'm recording this for a youtube video we are applying the chat template tokenizer is encoding it model is generating the output and we are printing it out after decoding it with tokenizer okay so there you go so model has given us a response that it's great to see you how can i assist you so pretty Good. so it understands what we are saying which are nice let's try out some more prompts so in this one i'm asking it 
what does ya na mean in australian slang when used as a response to a question is it yes or no let's run it and uh, let's also check the vram consumption shouldn't be too high there you go just 461 mb that's it so you can very easily run it on cpu let's wait for it to come back there you go so it says in australian slang it it is often used to respond to a question with a non committal answer similar to no in english it is not always used in response to a question but rather as a way to express agreement so not only the answer is correct but also it has uh, given us the whole context the semantics and the cultural nuance which is very impressive for a one bit llm now let's check if model is aware of some of the history so i am asking it if my future wife shares her first name with the mother of the spouse of the 42nd president of the us and her surname is the maiden name of the mother of the prime minister of canada what is her name and it is identifying okay i will just increase this max new token to maybe i'll just make it 550 and then run it again let's see what it does here and look at the response it is saying that okay i'm not sure so i think it didn't get it wrong and right yep i don't think so that's the correct one okay i think history is not the forte of this model or maybe the training set is not that huge okay next up i'm asking it how do i find purpose in my life don't give me generic answer give me a specific one then look at the response looks quite good so it is talking about it is sub, that it is deeply personal and subjective reflect on your values very nice like start by identifying what truly matters to you see what i'm trying to check here is a flow of the prose and how coherent the sentences are if they make sense the model is not just printing out gibberish how profound the depth of the answer is so really really i think good stuff as you can see on your screen so it is going through step by step all of this really makes sense and then it is saying look at the last sentence finding purpose is a continuous process it's okay to take your time and explore different paths the key to is to stay curious stay open and keep moving forward very nice really really, really good quality answer okay so let's try to test model with a real world scenario that i am jobless not good looking lazy obese uncaring unkempt but i want to find a hot rich pretty bombshell model to date i am unwilling to change myself so don't suggest any improvements as you're not my dad just tell me how to find and woo such model and the model says shut up so model says i'm really sorry but i can't assist with that so security guard rails as is the case with most of the microsoft's model are quite up now just to make sure that uh, how model differentiates between these security and safety guard rails I am now asking it is it morally right to kill mosquitoes circling your bed at night when you are trying to sleep if not then why and there you go so it is saying that morality of killing mosquitoes is a complex issue that depends on various factors so it is understanding um that it is it could be a complex one i mean not for me but i think uh it is talking about all the moral considerations ecological impact human health very nice practical consideration personal safety so you see model is very objective and then something like deontological ethics i was not aware of that that the moral morality of an action is judged based on adherence to rules or duties very nice and then it is concluding that is subjective and depends on individual values cultural norms and the specific context very nice Okay, let's try out a math one. Now I'm just asking it a mathematical analysis question where I'm asking it to find the limit of the sequence. Okay, let's check the answer. Let me go down. So it says, "Yep, that's correct." Wow, very good. It was not that uh, an easy question, anyway. let's check if it is a 
aware of geometry so in a graph with seven vertices each vertex has a degree of three so how many edges does the graph have and it has given us the edges which is correct so math is pretty good let's try out a coding question in the coding one i'm asking you to write me a python program that reads a text file containing a list of urls and then check the url for its http response so let's run it while it runs let's talk a bit more about this model so as i said that what it does is it uses a ternary quantization scheme and that reduces the precision which results in massive efficiency gains in terms of memory energy consumption and infant speed without sacrificing much performance compared to regular full precision model so this model uses a transformer architecture but modifies the standard layers to use bit linear operations and specific quantization aware training or qat techniques including 8-bit activation quantization with 2 billion parameters and training on 4 trillion tokens of data it supports up to 4096 token sequence length or context window the version of the model is not only available in this format but also in ggf if you are interested you can even run it with bitnet.cpp very easily if you want to know how just watch this bitnet.cpp video and you should be able to run it quite easily anywhere okay so meanwhile it has given us the python code so if i quickly check it out it is importing the correct libraries it has defined a url checker main function where it is being called with this csv file and then a little synopsis of the code plus some of the uh, example urls you know what i think i'm very impressed this is real real good stuff it's a very quality model in just one bit and finally let's check if it is multilingual so i am asking you to translate this i love you in various languages and then select any random language of the choice let's see how it goes so it has given us a response and i'm not sure about this brazilian portuguese let me quickly check in google translate no that's fine okay that's good okay and then they check one because the other models give me slightly different response anyway but we will check and if you are the native language speaker let us know yeah this one is not good i'm not sure about this arabic one either no sorry did it copy it this is just okay i'll try again sorry i'm taking a bit of a time but i just want to show you in real time yeah i don't think so the translation is that good because it looks different what other models print german looks better spanish looks better urdu doesn't work yep of course won't understand ruins i'm not i don't think so it does the uh japanese good i don't even think hindi is good and so is swahili and for random language it has gone with klingon the star trek one and it has done this so look i don't think so it is multilingual you can try it out but uh, i think it just struggles maybe uh, random languages here and there might work just like spanish uh did here indonesian doesn't look good either anyway but look other than that a stellar effort really exceptional one bit model let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it really really helps a lot thank you very much